Welcome back to Theme Journals, the home of the Theme Journal journey. Welcome to all the new members. I appreciate your subscription. All right, so we sort of left off doing these altered playing cards. They're sort of plain, but that's okay. They're, you know, I've done them in different styles. So they'll all look different and be unique. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to go ahead and sew them or not, but I don't have to make that decision right now. Okay, with that being said, we're going to continue just going ahead and making these beautiful altered playing cards. Let's see. Let's see. No. All right. That's okay. I hope all is well. I hope you had a lovely Thanksgiving. I certainly did with my daughter and son-in-law. Where we had a lovely time, went over to his, his, my son-in-law's family for dinner. They're Cuban, and uh, his mom makes the best food. And um, we had a lovely time. And then I got my car worked on. And let me tell you, my the here in Phoenix, I was told that my uh, car needed wheel arms replaced well my mechanic in albuquerque said there's nothing wrong with my wheel arms so i was lied to by the mechanics here which i shouldn't be really surprised about not really and what the problem is is my my brackets on my engine are failing which is concerning but he said they weren't bad yet but he's the mechanic in Albuquerque said that he would um call me with a quote and he didn't call me this week so I've got to call them first or leave a message on their answer phone maybe or call them first thing Monday morning my problem is is when I'm at work I forget that I need to call and then I don't call and I forget and the week goes by and yeah hmm <laughs> vicious little circle that is So I have done absolutely nothing since I got back from my Thanksgiving vacation in the craft room. I hope you got some crafting done over the hol weekend at least. Maybe not maybe the holiday, but maybe the weekend. So anyway, ooh, isn't that pretty? That's gorgeous. Very excited. Oh, very pretty. All right. So now we're going to look at the backs of these and see if they need decorating. I don't think they need too much decorating. Maybe right here, but then I've got this little rub on I can put on there. So that's a pretty good deal. All right. I don't know why I thought I had to clean up before I started this little video. I, I put some things away and I'm just going to get them all back out. <laughs> yeah. So we have 700 members and this week we will do the 700 um, sub um, subscription draw. Uh, there'll be seven gifts and seven winners. Um, that's really nice. All right, these two don't need anything else. I think maybe one more or something, maybe something small. Uh, let's see here. It's too big. All right, let's see what we got on our sheet here. Let me get my smaller scissors. I'm thinking this one. Mm -hmm.
I don't know why. Oh, that's why I'm trying to keep it on the thing because these rub-ons are sticky on the back. Ugh. And I'm trying really hard not to pull them off of the back sheet so that the sticky doesn't get a uh, see. All right, pull it off slowly, April. Let's try this one here. That's another thing I don't like about these is the entire sheet wants to come off at once. Oh well, but they are pretty, I must say. <laughs> Okay, then we can remember we used these last time and, oh yes, we need to. Let's try this again. a few drops of water on here to see if I can't reactivate this pad. There's plenty of, per, you know, inky. There's pigment on it. Oh, I can't even think of the word pigment tonight. Yeah, it's been a long day. breathe some life into these old cards. I'm very excited about that. All right. Some of you were commenting that these were easy altered playing cards on the chat. And yes, they are. There's some of the more simpler ones that I've done. Um, simple ones are always nice every once in a while, you know? So, yeah. I'm glad you're enjoying them. Um, not, uh, if if I lined up all of my my um, altered playing guards, you know, each one from a different um, uh, a different um, journal that I've done over the years, they'd all look different. I don't do the same thing over and over again. I do do altered playing cards, but they all look different and they're all so much so much different than the other that they're quite a bit of fun. Yep, indeed. All right, let's get that piece of paper cut off. All right. Then we'll just put this one on. Like, I got stuff everywhere. It is such a mess on my desk. I might have to do a short just to show you how <laughs> how messy my my desk is. Ugh, ugh, I say. All right. 
I need to cut that side off and it looks like I missed a little bit on this side too. All right, no big deal. Let's get this thing down. That looks lovely. Hmm. There. All right. Now this is a fun um, altar playing card for me to do because usually I do either black or red, but I'm doing black and red together. I've never done one with black and red cards together, so that's exciting for me. <laughs> uh, sometimes, you know, the red, I want red and sometimes I want the black and I don't want them mixed. But this time I'm just going with the flow. The flow says black and white. Hard, so okay no problem I'm not gonna be able to um, I need to get up my ability on these cards because I'll tell you what um, I'll be going to Albuquerque for Christmas and I want to be ahead like I did this time because I'm not going to be able to have time when I come back to do anything because right after Christmas is New Year's and for us Lyft drivers, that's a very big time of the year for us. So anyway. Oh, that's lovely. Okay, that's going to need more decoration. That's all right. I can have more decoration. That doesn't, and that might need one small one there. All right. I think we want this one to go that way. All right, let's use this one next. Mm. All right. Let's see, we want, let's do brown with this one, or not brown, but vintage photo. Well, it's a type of brown. Oh, 
looks lovely. Okay. Oh, this one's definitely going to need a butterfly. Let's see. That's too big. Let's see. Let's do this one. So you can see that, you know, something simple as a circle and a sticker is great ephemera. Now, if you wanted to get fancy, you could sew around the circle before you glue it on. It's up to you. I think we're going to do... Uh, I think this is my jet black. No, it is not. That's vintage photo. Um, here's vintage black. Or jet black, I mean. Vintage black. Anyway... Oops. All right. Very nice. All right. At least we have some of these pre done, so we don't have to sit there and make a bunch of more circles, but since I like making the circles, it's not a big deal. Um, let's do a blue on this one. I wonder how ink fossilized amber would look on these cards. Hmm. Opening the wrong end. Ouch. Okay, that looks lovely. So anyway, back to my complaint about my the local auto body shops I've been going to. They lied to me. I didn't need my wheel arms done. One shop said, oh, it'll cost you $850 for all four. And I went to another one. They said, oh, it's your wheel arms. And they're, call, they're going to cost $1,900 a piece. So almost $2,000 a piece for four wheel arms. 
There's absolutely nothing wrong with them. So it's my engine brackets that need to be replaced. The mechanic that looked at them says they're not bad yet, but I should start thinking about, you know, saving up money and getting them done. The vibrating of the, the vibrating sound is getting to the point of driving me loopy. Can't stand it. You know, at, in the morning, it doesn't bother me at first, but throughout the day, it really gets on my nerves. Yeah. So anyway, watch out if someone tells you you need your wheel arms done. That's just bogus. Oh, and here's another thing. Uh, one of the companies I went to here, they says, oh, you need to do a smoke test. It'll cost you $199 to figure out where your pipes are, or your, your uh, if you have any leaks. Okay. I'm like, all right. Um, we're not doing that right now. And come to find out, when I went to Albuquerque to get my um, car looked at, all that there was no need to do a smoke test. Every the, the mechanics there were knowledgeable enough to say, "Oh yeah, we know exactly where they're leaking from, and they need to be redone." So I got those done while I was there. I don't like it when people lie to me and treat me badly because they think I won't know that they're not telling me the truth. Ugh. Anyway. So I got that done. So the only thing that's left on the car that I need to upgrade is I need to get a new um, Oh, that looks lovely. Uh, I need to get new brackets for my engine block. And then I also need a spare, new spare tire. So. So anyway, yeah. Gotta watch out, crooks in Phoenix, or the, <laughs> yeah, they're crooks all right. Mechanics here in Phoenix, uh, the mechanics here in Phoenix are definitely crooks. And if you're a woman, mm -hmm. Watch out. So I got a lot done while I was in, you know, at my daughter's. <laughs> so if you live in, if you live in Albuquerque and you want to know an honest mechanic, McKinney Motors up on Eubank at just before, um, just north of Indian School. If you're going northbound, you take a right or a left onto Eubank, and then it's there on the right. And if you're coming southbound on Eubank, it's just after Snow Heights. Excellent mechanic shop. You can tell them your, that April sent you. They'll know who I am. Ah, that's lovely. All right, now. Got to do some more these. Hmm. Okay. Oh, look at how pretty this one is. Uh, let's see if it's big enough to fit. Nope. That's super pretty. Okay, <laughs> get back on track, April. Boy, these cards are really used. I love how they feel on my hands. They're not, you know, brand spanking new. they only the corners cut off. Yeah, you know, people sometimes will just donate stuff. I just love these old cards. They're the oldest cards I've, well, no, there's a couple other ones that I've got that have been used, definitely used. I just like how they feel and how they look. They just take the ink really well. They take to the blue really well, <laughs> which makes it easier for me. Saving these pieces so that we can have pretty pieces of paper to do butterfly 
master boards with later. Just need a little bit cut off here. All right, let's see what we got. All right. That's really pretty. This is the one we need extra. You know what? Oh, that's lovely. All right. Ooh, where's there we go? All right, let's see here. Um no. Mm. You know what? I think I might use this one. Ugh. All right, stay there, bug. Ladybug. All right, let's do this one. I like the... Um, sticker and the um, rub-ons together. They look really great, I think. I think we need... That one's okay. This one, we need a small little something or other. Let's see. Let's use this one. Yep. All right. I think they look great. See a little bit on this, just a little bit, just to be annoying, I think. Um, let's use blue this time, I'm thinking. Ooh. No, that's that's the correct one. Okay. Shoo, I thought it was jet black. I just dipped in my blue. I was gonna be very upset with myself. All right. 
it. This is the um, one we did with the um, washi tape. I think it was too much of a pain in the neck to do again, but you know, that's why you experiment and you see if you like it or not. <laughs> oh yeah, true story. Okay, so here is our big one. Well, we can get some white ones done anyway. All right, then let's see here. Oh. Oops, what in the world? How did that happen? A uh, Gabriel. All right, that'll give us some paper for a minute. Uh, let's get some black ones, I suppose. A couple of these. All right. Okay, we're going to decorate the circles again. Let me put this off to the side. Okay, so um, mm -hmm. I think we're going to use a black for this one. Okay, make sure we don't help. We got a little bit on the edge we gotta cut off. Just on one side though. Okay, so one down. Let's use blue for this one. That's lovely. All right, let's use a blue one then. Yep, this one will work. Have some of the Peta, the clear peta ones, part of the thing going over the edge, but that's all right. Ugh, can you believe this nonsense? Ugh, here we go, finally. All right. All right. Okay, lovely. Let's get these off of the scissors. Oh, haha. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got glue on my finger. Always oh, such a gluey mess. Okay, right, 
Let's get some more. Let's do this one. The black ones have to be used for the white ones because the white ones will come up better. And the blue ones can go on these colorful ones. Ugh. Yeah, finally. All right. Oops. Oh, hopefully I can get this off without too much trouble. Oh, I still didn't quite do it right. There. All right. Oh. Hmm. Definitely I'm having a problem with the sticky ones that I'm cutting off. Ugh. Almost had it a couple of times. All right, let's. Let's do a black one. All right. Aha. Ugh. Well, that's pretty. All right. Let's see, is this too big for this one? I think it's all right. Definitely need to cut the edges on this one. All right. Okay, throw this in the little trash bin there. Get off my fingers. All right. Yeah, that'll be all right, too. Yay us.
we can use the stylized one on a white one. Let's see if that's big enough. I think it'll be all right. Very lovely. It's lovely. All right. Ugh. Just sometimes, all right. Maybe I can get these to stay in the trash bin this time. All right. I'm sorry I'm not really talkative tonight. I'm just getting into the groove here. I'm trying to decide if I should start stop this project and start my grandson's baby book so I can have it done before Christmas. I don't know. Although the lady who inspired this journal um, is looking forward to looking at the ones and I told her she'd have first dibs on it and she wants to purchase it. She loves butterflies. So I told her, well, when I, if, if I ever got around to finding butterfly uh, fabric that, you know, I'd let her know because basically you need fabric to match your themes. Not so much fabric that well, sometimes the fabric inspires the theme. Don't get me wrong. Um, but sometimes you just need a theme to go with the fabric. Oh, look at that little rose there. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Ugh. Oh, got it. Very lovely. Okay, so hmm. that's not quite the size I need. I think this one I've already done on one. Yep, I have. And we're going to use this for the last one. And then we'll do the last two of these on, you know, just gluing them down. And then I'll let you all go for the evening or for the day. I hope you have a lovely Sunday. And um, I will talk to you later in the, in the week. Yep. You know, I just got an inspiration. I'm going to do a quick experiment before I let you go. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Now. Let's see if I can get... Now, let me 
see. Now let's see if that will work. Um, unusual I don't know if I like it let me know in the comments below if you like this experiment or not it might grow on me who knows all right now let's do a black around here Okay. Ugh. All right. It's trying to ball up and cause me problems. All right, let's do the black again, I think, on this one. All right, here we go. That brings us to the conclusion of this theme journal journey. I hope you like, share, subscribe and uh, to my channel and hit that notification bell so you know when the next theme journal journey is going to begin. And I wish you a lovely Sunday day. Bye.